smell that? Straight out of the gym. Let's put some stank on it. Let's go. Hello, I'm Andre Smith, and welcome to the Benchy Fitness and Performance. Today, what we're going to be doing is what I like to call a gym toolbox, and it's where I give you different fitness training techniques and gym techniques and uh, training principles that you can use and add to your own training to maybe help change it up and spice it up for you. And I like to do these if it's any upcoming training video where it has one of these in it. I like to make sure that you know what's going on before I put out that uh, workout video. And so this one right here, it's a uh, DTP. And what it is, is Dramatic Transformation Principle. It's something that was a uh, coined by Chris uh, Githin. I don't know if you are seeing, he actually put out a DTP program on bodybuilding.com. And basically, um, it's good to be applied to, if you wanna gain mass fairly quickly, if you wanna break through plateaus, or just, it's a good change up, just if you've been stuck in the same routine for a while. One thing though, it's somewhat of an overtraining principle, so me, myself, my longest DTP programs are usually around four weeks. Even at three weeks, I start to get overtraining. I notice overtraining symptoms in myself where just my system can't take it. And mine is kind of upgraded from what Chris get them uh, prescribed. So mine is even kind of a heavier output even than what he does. And so I have a few notes here basically just to cover it so I don't forget anything. And so the basic principles of it is it's a pyramid scheme of workout, but the difference that makes his pyramid scheme unique is it goes through all facets of training and all facets of, uh, I guess, muscle fibers, if you want to say it like that, because he actually has it rather than just going, okay, we're going this rep and we're changing the reps and we're changing the weight. He actually changes the rest periods as well. So, to give you an example of that, he would do for, if you're in the endurance portion of DTP, it would be 40 reps, and the weight in the rest would be 45 seconds. And as you move more into the hypertrophy range where you're in the 20, 10, 15 reps, that range, your rest might move to a minute, a minute and a half. And then as you get to where the weight progresses, and the reps come down to where you're in straight strength phase, anything and you know, 10 or below, you'll get as, as high as two minutes of rest. And it basically, it changes as you go straight all the way through the program. And for me, this is something that I like to integrate in. I guess I say I usually do it just, my program for me lasts about three to four months. And in the middle of that, I'll do this right here. And like even just me doing it for four weeks, people just who haven't seen me that month, they'll be like, man, you didn't got bigger. And so it's a, a good thing. It's a, it's not gonna, you know, be abnormal difference, but it will be a noticeable difference for somebody that hasn't seen you. It's easy, like how they say the max of, you know, put on a pound to a month with DTP, you can do that. But either that, just to change up your program so that, that the program's coming up to show you it's gonna have DTP in it with a few other, over, a few other intensity techniques. And so, to give you an example of, of how a DTP program will be laid out, basically what you would see is, and this is what an average set would look like, for the first, first one you might be doing lighter weight, and it's going to consist of 40 reps, and then you're going to get 45 seconds rest. Next one, you're going to do 30 reps, 45 second rest. 20 reps, that one you're going to go to a minute rest because you're moving towards hypertrophy. Then you go down to 10 reps, minute and a half, the, the rest is coming up. And along with all of these, as you get lower and lower in the rep range, your weight is increasing as well, so you're moving more towards the power movements. And then when you get down to the power movements, where it's five reps, it's gonna be two minutes rest. But this is one thing that's different too. So really, really, that's why I say this overtraining and intensity technique, you end up going back up that ladder. So when you get to down to the five five reps and the two minutes rest, that two minutes rest is there is to give you, prepare you to go back up. So then you would be right back at doing the five reps again 
and then you get another two minute rest and you're gonna go 10 reps and you're gonna get a minute and a half on that one, 20 reps, a minute, 30 reps, 45 seconds. And the worst one, this is the worst one because if you see some of the videos, I think I did two or three that have DTP involved in them. I'm doing shoulder, shoulder presses, shoulder flies I think it is, and I'm down to like five or 10 pound dumbbells, but after you done did this, those 40 reps feel like hell. And this is a good intensity technique just to add in. You can do this on chest. You can do this. I have one that I'm gonna put up, but we've done this with supersets, where it's doing 40 reps of dumbbell bench, get up, do 40 of dumbbell rows. So you're doing back and chest, doing 40, 30, 20, 10, five reps, doing like that. And you're basically doing DTP and your superset as well. So there's a lot of different ways to integrate this technique into your training. And so this has been, I'm Andre Smith with DaVinci Fitness. This has been a gym toolbox. I hope you learned something and enjoyed that. And as usual, DaVinci Mafia, we don't break fingers, but we need those thumbs. So we need you to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this video and anyone you like on this channel on Facebook and Twitter, as well as follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Andre Smith for DaVinci Fitness, and I'm out.